Greetings. Today, we're delving into the chilling story of SCP-019, an ancient vase from Greece that defies explanation. It's not your typical artifact, and its secrets will send shivers down your spine. Stick around because you're about to discover the mysterious world of SCP-019, the Cursed Vase. Object Class and Containment Procedures Before we plunge any deeper into the shadows, let's talk about how the SCP Foundation keeps this malevolent anomaly in check. You see, SCP-019 is no ordinary artifact. It's classified as Keter, signifying its extreme danger. To contain this nightmare, SCP-019 resides in a specially designed chamber. Picture a room made of reinforced concrete, measuring 3 by 3 meters, with a height of 4 meters. Inside, there's an incinerator and a wide grate that supports the vase. But there's more to it. The room's temperature is maintained at a bone-chilling 0 degrees Celsius when the incinerator isn't running. The reason for this will become clear as we go on. Now, there's an observation chamber, separated by a plate glass window. That's where researchers keep a constant eye on SCP-019. But why, you ask? Well, it's because of the entities known as SCP-019-2. When these SCP-019-2 specimens are spotted, the incinerator is immediately activated. And trust me, we'll get into what these entities are all about in just a bit. So, that's the setup for containing SCP-019, a freezing room, vigilant observers, and an incinerator, at the ready. Description of SCP-019 Let's get up close and personal with the malevolent artifact itself, SCP-019. This ancient vessel, standing at a towering 2.4 meters high with a mouth that stretches 1.8 meters in diameter, is a relic from classical Greece. Its intricate decorations speak of a time long gone, but here's the kicker, its surface is utterly unbreakable by any known means. Researchers have tried, but SCP-019 remains unscathed. And if, by some miraculous discovery, a method to break it is found, SCP-019 is to be destroyed without hesitation. But as you might have guessed, the true horror begins when we peer inside. Periodically, entities emerge from SCP-019, and these unsettling creatures are collectively known as SCP-019-2. They're small, often with a vague humanoid shape, though some sport animal-like features, and they are incredibly hostile. But what's truly unsettling is what affects their manifestation rate. When SCP-019 remains at rest and is kept at zero degrees Celsius, SCP-019-2 entities emerge at a rate of about one per hour. But this rate isn't constant, it's influenced by several factors. It's a puzzle that keeps researchers up at night. SCP-019-2 and their characteristics. Now, let's take a closer look at SCP-019-2. These creatures emerge from SCP-019. Imagine this. Small, vaguely humanoid beings, some with animal-like traits, hiding in the shadows near the ancient vase. SCP-019-2 is incredibly hostile, and they don't hesitate to attack, often using their teeth and claws. You might wonder, they're small, can they really do much harm? Well, don't be fooled by their size. When they come in numbers, they become a real threat. Now, here's what makes them even more unsettling. These entities are not consistent. They aren't your typical monsters. They have a peculiar trait. They can catch fire quite easily. These creatures, born from SCP-019, can burn. However, this vulnerability doesn't make them any less dangerous. They are as mysterious as the vase that contains them. These are beings that emerge from an unbreakable artifact, and they challenge the laws of nature. As we explore this mysterious phenomenon further, keep in mind that the fear associated with SCP-019-2 goes beyond their appearance. It's their unpredictability, and the mysteries they bring that truly send a shiver down your spine. Factors influencing SCP-019-2 manifestation. Here's where it gets even more perplexing. 
SCP-019-2 doesn't just pop out of its face randomly. There are factors at play, factors that influence when and how these nightmarish entities emerge. First up, it's the movement of SCP-019 itself. Just a nudge, a tip, or any disturbance can set things in motion. Imagine the terror of being responsible for unwittingly releasing these entities. Then, there's the threat to SCP-019. It's almost as if the vase is sentient, sensing danger, and reacting accordingly. Whether it's a direct threat or something that could harm it, SCP-019 seems to know when to unleash its horrors. Extreme temperature highs and lows, the sudden shift in the surrounding environment, and the introduction of objects or organisms into SCP-019 all trigger what can only be described as a flood reaction. It's as though the vase is trying to defend itself or simply doesn't appreciate anything foreign inside it. But here's where things get eerie. Some factors remain elusive, like the presence of human life near SCP-019. You could be standing there, minding your own business, and unknowingly influence the emergence rate of SCP-019-2. It's like the vase has a sinister intelligence of its own. Weather patterns, too, seem to play a role, though the specifics are still unclear. And individuals near SCP-019 may have varying impacts, some have a more pronounced effect than others. It's as if the vase picks and chooses its moments. It's not just the creatures, it's the inexplicable dance of variables that keeps you on the edge of your seat. Addendum, Document SCP-019-2A the SCP Foundation maintains detailed notes on these entities, and in this document, SCP-019-2A, we find some intriguing information. Date, redacted. In this entry, an SCP-019-2 specimen was moved from its containment chamber to a reinforced pen. It was provided with water and live chickens as sustenance. What's remarkable is that the specimen started emitting continuous incomprehensible sounds resembling ancient Hellenic languages. This doesn't imply intelligence. These creatures appear to have no greater intelligence than animals. Date, redacted. In this entry, we explore the lifespan of an SCP-019-2 specimen. It survived for less than 48 hours, and upon dissection, researchers found something perplexing. While its cellular level biology appeared normal, its musculoskeletal structure was remarkably unstable. It exhibited an erratic respiratory system, an almost non-existent digestive tract, and a near absence of internal organs. It's as if these entities were not designed for survival outside SCP-019. Many mysteries remain. Date, redacted. Further anomalies are noted in this record. The containment unit sustained slight damage, but the monitoring team missed it due to its partial transparency. This deviation from typical SCP-019-2 behaviors raises questions about potential evolution or adaptation. Date, redacted. The unsettling revelations continue. Monitoring teams now report that select SCP-019-2 specimens display remarkable resistance to incineration, defying the usual fate of their counterparts. This suggests a potential intelligence at work within SCP-019 itself. As we examine these perplexing records, remember that the enigma of SCP-019 goes beyond our current understanding. Its mysteries continue to bewilder and unsettle researchers, leaving us with more questions than answers. The deeper we delve, the more chilling it all becomes. Conclusion as we reach the end of our harrowing journey into the abyss that is SCP-019, it's impossible to deny the chilling nature of this ancient artifact. It's a puzzle with pieces that don't quite fit, a mystery that keeps us awake at night, and a horror that defies explanation. But remember, this is just the beginning of our journey. SCP-019 remains an enigma, a riddle wrapped in darkness. The horrors it holds continue to baffle researchers, and the mysteries it conceals may never fully see the light of day. So, if you've found yourself captivated by the terrors of SCP-019, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Anomalous Archives.
Stay curious, stay vigilant, and above all stay safe. Because in the world of SCP, the line between curiosity and terror is as thin as a shadow, and there's always another anomaly lurking just beyond the light.